So what I'd like to do first is I like to numb the injection points with a little lidocaine with Epi. Now I'm going to uh, use an injection point to do the prezygomatic space, which is this space right here. And I probably could use that same location that I'm using for the temple. So I'll inject it just a little bit more. All right. So now we're going to do the prezygomatic space. The prezygomatic space is bounded by the orbital retaining ligament superiorly, the zygomatic cutaneous ligament inferiorly, the SMAS superficially, and the periosteum deep. If you inject in the prezygomatic space, the likelihood of having malar edema is significantly decreased because you're below the superficial uh, lymphatic chains. So I like to choose a uh, point out here for my starting point. And um, we're using the Easy Guide system, 22 gauge cannula. And what I like to do is I like to lift up to get through that smash, and you'll be a little bit of a pop. And you got to twist as you pop through. Sorry, huh? Okay, and now I'm in that prezygomatic space. And you, you, you feel the periosteum, okay? And then you feel inferiorly, you feel that zygomatic cutaneous ligament, and superiorly, you feel that orbital retaining ligament. And now we're going to confirm that position using the ultrasound. Okay. So I'll hold it about right here. So there I am below this mass. And you see that I'm injecting in the prezygomatic space along the periosteum. So that is the prezygosomatic space injection with ultrasound guidance. Okay, so that's a very safe plane to inject your cheeks with uh, ultrasound guidance. All right, let's come on out.